Oh, almost first ball. Hey! What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bagham Outdoors. Today I am filming the intro inside the shack because it is extremely windy outside. And uh, yeah, we are out here on Lake Winnebagashish and we are gonna try to catch some burbots tonight. I know it's only like three o'clock three o'clock right now but hopefully uh we can catch some it is currently march here in northern minnesota and uh the burbots are spawning pretty much so we're up here on kind of like a walleye looking spot and uh sitting here in 20 feet and i got a tip up in like um i think it's like 15 or something like that kind of a hard sand bottom and uh just using a really big chunk of minnows on each of those and uh yeah we'll see I've seen a couple on the camera so far, so hopefully we can catch a couple. And uh, also, by the title of the video, we're also gonna eat a couple, so that'll be good. So yeah, stay tuned. So for my bait today, I've got, this is called a pout candy spoon, and it's literally like an ounce, and then I just have like four minnows on the treble. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, it glows, so once it gets dark out, I can glow, glow that up, and then you pretty much just pound the bottom of this thing, and then the burbots come in, and then you kind of like hold it an inch off the bottom for them to eat it. And yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. As we got a fish on the tip up. Oh, it's spinning. Got him. Feels like a burbot. Oh yeah. Big bur oh not. Hey, that thing looks sick though. All right guys, there we go. On the tip up. We've actually caught three on this tip up right here. And then none in the shack, which is actually pretty interesting. Probably swallowed the hook, which is fine. Yeah, that hook is just gone somewhere in there, but look at the markings on them. Really cool fish. All right, guys, we got another flag here. We'll call dibs on it, so. Oh, we're hooked up. Burbot. Heavy burbot. Oh. Oh, that baby thing, bird. Baby bird. Uh, that uh, thing looks uh, sick, though. That one would look nice on my wall. <laughs> hey, crack! <laughs> <laughs> Dang, the tip up just keeps bagging them for some reason. Yep. That's four on the tip up in like the past two hours. <laughs> <laughs> they just inhale it every damn time. All right, nice little burbot. We're letting this one go because we've already got three to eat. So, what am I doing? The hole. the hole is like abnormally shaped because there's so much water on top of the ice. So, yeah. There she is. I'll catch it. Hmm? That's such a nice buffet for a bird bun. I do not want that thing. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, instant walleye. <laughs> you go? No, I don't think so. Eh, maybe decent. No. Just inhaled the jig though. Like, literally had like six minnows on there. And he's got all three trebles. I was messing around. Alright, now my hot dog is. Look at that, guys. The jig, one of the minnows fell off, but look at the size of that wall compared to that spoon. Alright guys, we got a flag here. Could be a walleye, I'm not sure. Not spinning though, so it could be a burbot too. It was like a little walleye, I think. 
I don't know. It's really small, whatever it is. Yeah. Tiny walleye. The season's closed for these guys, so we are not fishing for them. Look at that. There's very small walleye on a couple minnows. All right, so that's probably gonna be it for the fishing portion of this video. So I'll show you what we got here. Well, well we got like three nice eater sized burbots here. Um, so yeah, it's back at the house and we are gonna clean some more fish. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the crib and it is time to clean some burbots. Okay, so a little disclaimer for you guys. This is gonna be my first time ever like cleaning a burbot, eating a burbot. So if you see something that I'm doing wrong, then <laughs> totally be open to telling me how to do it better. So uh, yeah, definitely don't take this as great advice, but we're gonna try it out. And uh, I don't know, I've always kind of wanted to see how one of these burbot tastes. So let's see how it goes. All right, so from what I've seen, other people do it when they clean these burbots is they just clean it kind of like a regular fish so that's what i'm gonna try all right so this is my first ever play that i've ever made off of a burbot i know i definitely missed like a lot of meat off of that but um i don't know it's definitely built a lot different than a normal fish that's for sure but uh yeah this seems pretty boneless and it seems just like a normal fish fillet so uh, yeah, we'll just clean up the rest of them. All right guys, so for the second burbot, I actually did it like a lot differently. I looked up a YouTube video on how to clean these things. I got like a pliers here and I just like cut a ring around its head and then I just pulled all the skin off and then it was like a lot easier to get all the, all the meat off. So you can see like I got the back straps off and then all the tail meat, which I guess is what you want. And like this is actually like a decent size piece of meat to come off that burp compared to what I got before so definitely if you're going to clean these things I would say take all the skin off if you're going to do it. All right so I just finished cleaning the burbot um, we got a pretty decent decent amount of meat off them um, but we also have a couple perch so we can see um, how they taste compared to the burbot. All right now we're back in the kitchen and it's time to fry these babies up. You can see this is what we're working for with meat this is all burbot and then there's those couple perch, so we definitely had a lot of meat to work with here. All right, so I'm gonna try to cook these two different ways today. The first one, I've got some shore lunch here, good old trusty fish batter. And then the other one is gonna involve a boiling pot of water. I've got some canola oil here, just gonna put that in a pan, just enough to line the bottom of it. Turn it to high until that oil gets hot enough. All right, so I got my shore lunch in a bowl here. And if you've ever like wanted to make your batter more crispy or whatever, just get some of this. It's called Shake and Bake Extra Crispy. Just sprinkle a little of that in there and it kind of helps make the fillets a little more, give a little more crunch at the end. So, and then I like to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning just to give it a little kick. All right, so it looks like the oil just got hot enough. So I'm gonna take a fillet of burbots. Let's try to get Nice looking piece here. This one looks pretty decent. We'll just kind of put some batter on there. Like so. And then throw in the oil. All right, now I'm also gonna add a perch fillet just for comparison. Alright, they're looking pretty crispy and ready to get out. So I'm gonna take them and put them on towel. Alright, so first I'm gonna try the perch fillet. Um, yeah, let's take a bite. It's pretty good. I mean, I've had a lot of perch in my day, so I kind of knew what to expect. 
All right, so now I'm gonna try the bourbon. Um, right away, it seems like very squishy and it doesn't like fall apart as easily as the perch did. And uh, doesn't seem like it's gonna be as crunchy. Like the batter didn't stick on it as well. But uh, anyways, we're gonna try it here. I would definitely say it's like a lot more chewy. But I mean like, it does still taste like fish. To be honest, like it's really, it's really not too bad. Um, it's definitely has like a little bit different texture than the perch, but I mean, it's pretty good. All right, so this next part, I'm actually like really excited for. People always say that um, you can cook burbot a special way and that they will taste like lobster. So um, yeah, we are gonna do that right now. All right, in this pot, I've got some water and um, some salt. So it's basically just salt water. And I'm gonna bring that to a boil. In the meantime, while you wait for your water to start boiling, you're gonna wanna melt some butter. Now that we got that to a boil, we're gonna add some vinegar. And then once the vinegar starts boiling, we're gonna add our burbot. Now it seems like we got a pretty good rolling boil going. So we got our burbot here and we're just gonna kind of toss it in slowly. And then All right, so now you can see it kind of stopped boiling. Um, we're gonna wait for it to start boiling again, and then once it is boiling, we're going to um, set a timer for two minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. We're gonna start taking them out. All right, so here's the finished product. You can see, kind of, they feel like lobster, and I mean, look like lobster a little bit, I guess. Let's dig in. All right, we're gonna go for a first bite here. This is what they look like on the fork. We're gonna dip it in some butter, like so. Mm. That actually does taste a lot like lobster. Like, scary similar. The texture is a little bit different. It's like a little bit softer, a little less chewy, but the taste is like spot on. The one thing I'd recommend is to use um, unsalted butter because the butter I'm using is salted and that tastes like really salty. But other than that, like really good. After trying both methods of cooking, um, I would definitely say the boiling burbot was a lot better. Um, the frying just didn't really work very well. The batter didn't really stay on it too good. And um, yeah, if you're gonna do a catch and cook with some burbot, I would definitely do boiling. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching this episode of Bagging Tours, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. And as always, don't forget to keep on bagging them.